Hello YouTube and welcome to our Monopoly game board game thing we're doing. And um, Teapotted here is helping me with this one and say hi. Yes, uh, on the technical achievement level of the space program, we have engineered this board game to rid you of your 1.8 adventure mode angst. You don't need to wait for it anymore. This is the new adventure mode, and this is all you'll ever need. I might <laughs> yes. have oversold that. Yes, um, he's been practicing <laughs> for that joke. Yes, because you keep on screwing up the intro, that's why. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do a walk, a quick walkthrough on the Monopoly board and we, what we have achieved so far. So how the movement works. I'll just go quickly over this. Is we use minecarts and every single bump is a different property, and we need your help, everyone, because we need to come up with names for every property, and they have to be Minecraft related. So all we have so far is third hot, but so. For all you people on YouTube, yeah, we need we need like really weird Minecraft related names, like not just Sex Cave, and you know, post on YouTube, post on Reddit, just you know, spew your posts all over us. It doesn't matter if it's a really dumb name. We might even add it because we need forty four of them. So yeah, so there's gonna be some dumb ones. Yeah, so teapotted bear is on the on a cart, and I'm gonna press the button. It's it's placed down here, but it will eventually be up there by the control panel, but... So it was his turn and he got a... He rolled a 3 and he went 3 up, so... And without doing anything, I just press the same button and automatically it switches to the next player and moves the next player, whatever number... Oh, he got a 6. <laughs> and it, that just goes on and on and that's how movement works. And there's the randomizer over here, and and yeah. Yeah, so um, basically what we have is a randomizer, a player selection, and just uh, this dice here. We might, like, after we've done this whole crazy experiment, we might go in and show you individual parts. Uh, I have the player selection thing on my channel if you want to see that. Yes. Um, this dice right here is just a uh, segment display that's, you know, like a se seven segment display, except there's five segments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the control panel. So there's five players. Um, four players. Well, there are four players and a banker. So we will take you through that. Yeah, so each one of those is like each player's. Uh, money bag or whatever <laughs> so say player one uh, gets like two dollars or something so I tap the plus one twice and two sand blocks drop and that means he has in total a total of three dollars so that's how we he's loaded he's yes. as loaded as a YouTube video maker <laughs> yeah so and we have one for each player, and we can also subtract by like that. You'll see what happens. Boom. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, like the reason we there's two reasons we're using a banker. Uh, one because if we would have individual like redstone memory for all this crap, it would take up ages, uh, or no, not ages. It would take up lots of space. The opposite of yeah. ages, the other yeah. dimension. And uh, the banker also ensures that you know you don't have as much cheating and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, yeah. That's all. So thanks for watching, and remember to comment, tell us your ideas. We still have to decorate this whole thing. I mean, all the logic is mainly done. All we have to do at now is add a gel system or somehow. And uh, yeah. So comment, telling us your ideas for properties. And that's all. Bye. Thank you for watching and subscribe and like the video because that helps. Oh, and also a quick announcement, follow me on Twitter because we're going to be doing live streams uh, probably daily or, yeah, or something. So follow me on Twitter. Bye. Hi. <laughs> you have to, what are you doing? You're no. terrible.